91, I was in a bad car wreck, went through a windshield, and they removed my right temporal lobe. I would fall over. So I thought, you know, maybe I can learn some self-defense and help my balance. And here I am 29 years later. I love sharing my knowledge of Taekwondo when I'm teaching people, seeing the smiles that they have. I did something good today. In 2021, I was rear-ended and it cracked my spine and left me unable to walk or stand for a year. Dan, look at you. Dr. Nasser, great to see you. He was on there, friend. He looked at the x-rays and he had a plan. He said, I can fix this. I knew I can do my part and I knew he was gonna do his part, so it was, it was a good match. He treated me like I was his best friend. And the fact that he came, when we invited him to come to my third degree testing, and when he came, it was, it was incredible. My name is Daniel Rose Jr., permission to break my board. So when we see patients that have hardware in them, we look at their pictures, and we think, that looks good. Good job, it healed. But to watch that hardware roundhouse kick was something that was really honestly humbling. We here at Eastside Martial Arts <laughs> decided you are the black belt of oh, neurosurgeons. Oh, wow and want to present you with your own black belt. Oh, thank you. I couldn't stand or walk. Look at me now. Uh, speechless. There's a lot Dan can teach us about, not just Taekwondo, but also about resilience and how not, not allowing disability to define you. Way to go, Dan. And what UC Health is, it's, it's more than just a hospital with, with high tech. It's, it's a culture where people will go above and beyond for their patients, and whether it's attending their Taekwondo, um, events or, or other major m momentum things. And I hope that uh, we're able to do more for the community in the years to come.